2022 and your boy got a new glycol chiller so we're starting the year off right baby i'm gonna show you guys why this might be the best bang for your buck as far as glycol chillers i'm gonna show you <music> Okay, and here we go. This glycol chiller is the Brewville Ice Master Max 2. And I pretty much paid $700 for this thing. And the reason why this thing is going to be the best bang for your buck is because it comes with two built in temperature controlling both heating and cooling. So that's what's awesome about this unit. If we look inside, it comes with two built-in pumps as well. So this is what's really going to save you guys a lot of money. So this thing's pretty much ready to rock and roll straight up out the box. Other units, you're looking at around $1,000 for starters. But when it's all said and done, you're probably going to be looking at around $1,300. And you can get this unit for literally around half the price. So it's hard to beat this unit in my opinion. I mean, for most home brewers, this is what you need. And before I forget, it comes with two six-foot temperature probes. Shove it in your thermal well or tape it to your fermenter. However, you're going to be reading temperature. So here's what the top of the unit looks like with this little tiny hole to put your glycol in. Uh, do yourself a favor and just take off the two screws on either side of that plate and uh, you can completely remove the lid and give you a ton of room to work with. So I'm digging this uh, side glass idea for a few reasons. Uh, you can monitor the level of fluids that you have within the reservoir or you can remove that white post on the bottom 90 and it's going to act as a drain. So don't hold me to it, but if I had to guess, Rubilt rebranded Keglands glycol chiller. So I do know this unit does have capability of hooking up a heating element. However, Brewbuilt does not give you any instructions on how to do so. So you can find some info on Kegland's website. Um, it is going to be kind of a pain in the ass though. So as far as I can tell, this thing is pretty much a relay. So you're going to have to splice into your heating element. So uh, probably not the best design, but at the end of the day, it can control heat. And if you guys like, throw a comment down below and I could probably make a video about this. So here's a quick peek at the back of the unit. Nothing too special. It's got another temperature controller on the back and this temperature controller is going to actually control the glycol temperature inside the reservoir. And one more knock against this unit is the temperature controllers only read in Celsius. So, uh, like I said, Kegland is the original creator of this product. Therefore, I believe they're located in uh, Canada. So, hence the reason why everything's in Celsius. That's all I got. Like, subscribe, throw me a comment. See you next time. Cheers.